Let's now cross over to Wajir County, where both local and international investors have been encouraged to invest in the northern part of Kenya. Uh, Governor, Governor Mohamed Mahmoud said Wajir County has a lot to offer, among other things like livestock and infrastructure. Let's have a look at that story now. In an effort to boost economical investment in the county, Wajia County Governor Mohamud Mohamed has encouraged investors to develop a positive attitude towards investing in the northern part of Kenya. Speaking during the 6th Kenyan Diaspora Homecoming Convention, Governor Mohamud highlighted that Wajia County is one of the major sources of beef sold in Nairobi and Mombasa. It has a vibrant goats and sheep market that trades daily while cattle and camels are traded once a week every Monday. This comes shortly after President Uhuru Kenyatta launched the solar power plant in Garissa. Is livestock and livestock products. This will not only maximize investors' returns on investment, but will also improve the quality of life of the people in the region. The livestock population in the county is estimated to be about 5 million, consisting of camels, cows, goats, sheep, and donkeys. Our livestock breeds have also been rated as the best in the northern Kenyan counties. Governor Mohamud noted that besides livestock farming, Wajia has an enormous supply of underground water as it sits on Merti and Yamicha aquifer. Additional water supply is provided by seasonal rivers, a Wasonyiro basin along Isiolo Garissa border. Therefore, commercial farming and horticulture through irrigation promises an attractive return in investment, he said. A big aquifer that will enable horticulture farming, thus transforming the nomadic way of life of the people for sustainable agriculture and improved livelihoods. So, and we in it can be exploited to generate energy for domestic and export. But in particular, northern Kenya, which has a landmass of nearly 80% of Kenya's landmass is there, yeah. with a lot of resources that have not been tapped, yeah. including Tokana. Yes. 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 Tokana has a lot of oil, isn't it? Yes. They are exporting the oil. Yes. And then uh, it has also water that can last and be sufficient for last 10 years, or I don't know, 70 years, or I don't know what. A lot of water is sitting on water. Yes. And you know that water extends uh, up to Wajia. There is the, this aquifer called uh, Merti. Maybe you have heard of Merti aquifer and so on. So, so we have a lot of resources. My new, don't just say. No, this land is nothing except the problems. You know, there, there, there are some civil servants where a long time when I was a civil servant, the civil servants who used to come from this part of the country were calling Northeastern province as nothing except problems. Now we have converted it to nothing except plenty. Plenty. Sophia Ali, TV. 47. There's definitely hope in the country if we keep getting more investors to invest here, which creates employment to the youth and also the local communities. Now, let's move on to Tunisia, where Tunisia.